Easy enough. Check out our new ebook, Explorations of Rum, at homecocktailmenu.com slash shop. Welcome to Comment Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Schreiber. I have with me Ian Andrews and my friends from Runson. Runson's. You should Runsons. call it Runson's. <laughs> Runson's. This is what happens when you have rum. Yeah. Eric and Steve. <laughs> <laughs> that was like I a stereo. Wow, that was awesome. So, so you guys are obviously related. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Related, related by rum. Yeah. Really by rum, yeah. Uh, what are we making? We're making, we're making, we're making the rum. minted rummy. Oh, minted All right. uh, rummy. Today's episode is produced, hmm. produced by Matt Capistrant. Oh, and one. this <laughs> recipe was created it's by uh, their friend Robert. Robert Simonelli. Simonelli, okay, sorry. Yep. My the, eyes are awful. The proprietor of a great restaurant in Marwood, The Landing. And this was his. Uh, it's basically going to be a mojito and a dark and stormy got together and had a party. Nice. And just all sorts of. Well, they're both party drinks, so no, yeah, be one hell of a party, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I like mojitos and I like dark and stormy. The recipe yeah. is one and a half ounces of Rumson's rum. Yeah. Half ounce of Rumson's spiced rum. Okay. Uh, half of a lime quartered, six mint leaves, and ginger beer. We're going to muddle the mint and the lime in glass. Then we're going to add the uh, Rumson's rum and ice and top with ginger beer and float some Rumson's spiced on it. Whoa! Garnish with a lime wedge. Boom. Okay. Boom. You, Bam. You, you going to do all that? I'm going to do all that. <laughs> I'm going to say it. Yeah, we're going to You guys yeah. talk amongst yourselves. Hey, you know what I put out this week, Ian? What would you put out this week? I put out, when Jennifer put out another ebook. I saw that. Yep. yep. Explorations in rum. Yep. It's right. all about rum. Yeah. Oh, Four different bottles of rum. What a great topic. Yep. And yeah. in, in, in this case, I didn't do anything with spice rum. Uh, I didn't do anything with coffee rum because that's just changing <laughs> everything. Uh, but if you did, we call for aged rum and light rum. So you could use rum. <laughs> that because works. it's gonna work in in, in this. It would probably work better than the, what we ended up with. And then I would probably use this for the for the older rum. Like maybe I don't know if it's, I mean, could you constitute that as a dark rum? Because the dark rum doesn't really mean anything. Yeah, that's that's right. dark. I mean, the, the whole concept of the gold, dark, light. It's just this, this is bad, right? Because you're you're gonna a lot of people. I'm guessing you guys have to color it down to the, get the right color, right? And then you have to you use it. But if you want to make it dark, you can char it. Mm-hmm. Well, it's it. in a charred barrel, a toasted yeah. American white oak. So that imparts you know, most of the colors. The black rums, I'm not sure, but the only way to get like a black rum, which they're out there, I think they cut. I think they the some sort of caramel, b- burned caramel, I think is what they yeah. use to get it to be like pitch black. It, okay, but at the end of the day, I think you could just pull off. You can use yeah. both these rums in that yeah, book. Yeah, absolutely. And, and then from there, you need a black rum. Like a, an actual black molasses thick. Like you guys need a black rum. Like the like, like a, like a gauze Yeah, like a black strap. Forward kind of. That would be cool. I mean, I mean like talk about a challenge, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm already like, oh, well, this is what we're going to do. Now you're going to explain how somebody's going to want to have that. Um, I don't know how well those rums do in general in the market. Oh, you can go Ooh, watch don't try this stuff. at home. <laughs> I cut myself last week. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> Which is funny because this shouldn't be something you can cut yourself with. It's a serrated weapon that you actually have to serrate your body with to cut yourself. Well, it's huh. split. And it's not a sharp knife. Yeah. I could, no, it's not I, sharp. I could do that. Look at that. I mean, that's very cool. Oh, yeah. It's a good looking cube, though. Right? Yes, that, it's, and these are free you if know, you make them yourself. This ice is so good. It looks like those blown glass ice cubes that yeah. are made to look. It's, it's so that's good it looks to look like fake, fake ice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, and you know what's funny? I used one in a promo shop for the store last week for Facebook. So anybody who's ever been to AustinRakes.com, if you go to Facebook, now you're probably being bombarded with Facebook ads that have awesome drinks all over. Oh, yeah. And one of them is, uh, uses clear ice in one of my martini glasses. To get so you can't even see it there. Ice is a hard thing to photograph, right? It is. That, it clear. Which, right. Yeah. Well, clear ice is even better because you can see a little bit, but it doesn't it doesn't destroy the look of the drink, and it doesn't distract from the whole photo. Now, do you have to add the subliminal thing like the skulls and stuff afterward, like the sexy body shapes? I don't. I don't subliminalize anything because that sounds like Photoshop, and I am not that good. Yeah. No. I remember studying that way back in the. Uh, no. Yes, yeah, so the skulls and the ice. Like little buy me's and vodka, you know, commercials and stuff. Yep. I don't, I don't like, I, I'm not good at that stuff. I just say, here's my stuff. <laughs> but anyway, you could go no to trickery or sorcery. You, if you want some trickery, you could go to home, home cocktail and buy Jennifer's book. That's all I wanted to say. Yeah, yeah. that's good. That's a great idea. Uh, I make one with it. So cool. Garnish on there. This is fun to watch you doing this, but we just get to sit here and watch. Isn't that great? I it's, know. It's it looks like, good though. It's almost See, like, I like making drinks. It's almost like being at a bar, it. except for we're standing up. Yeah. In the bar. I, I have this. <laughs> so like being at a friend's bar. <laughs> yeah. the, the funny thing is, because Ian is a, a, one of those people who doesn't introvert, 
Yeah, he's yeah. introverted. So this gives him something to do so he doesn't have to break the ice. Well, I guess well, he did. No, I did break the ice. Um, and, and, and have to really contribute too, too much until he's ready. Ian's a facilitator. I know yeah, he's, he's the one that's got the thoughtful uh, interview questions that he's going to walk out there it. to kind of keep things right. moving. Which one? Hand it off. How about this? Yeah, a little bit more. Can you move this there one you go. Go. Yeah. Ah, How about this? Is it still visible? That's what? A, oh, that's yeah. a big yeah. ass straw. Right? That's a <laughs> Dharma glass oh, no. straw. But look, it's a bath. So, Ian, oh, yeah. this is this is the replacements for the broken ones that we've had. Oh, those really are straws? Yeah. 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 Cool. Yeah. I thought that was a fucking are, stir. No, no, no. He, he sells them on awesomedrinks.com. That one's better. Lifetime oh, nice. guarantee. If you break it, nice. you send them yeah. back. Are we'll they glass? They replace it for yep. you. They're, part, they're cool. the Pyrex. Sometimes they're yeah. fancy. they got little bubbles on the side or whatever. Is that this one cool? That so, so little, yeah, little, Ian, uh, Jennifer toys. broke this oh, yeah. one. Ian yeah. broke that oh, one, and yeah, I just cool. got them new ones since I was putting in an order anyway. Um, I'll drink out of this big one. Let's take like a mojito with a spiced rum float. Derek asked me to open that. I wonder if oh, it'll make. Sorry. it. that's fine. I wonder if the spiced rum will make its way in the oh, yeah. Did it? Mm. Mm. I think everything makes oh, its way. Delicious. Is it good. So I didn't even see you open it. I'm just like, how the hell did you open it? Her. <laughs> what was wrong with it? Was it making noises? Yeah. yeah I, heard, I heard animals like and chicatas or whatever that are out there. Oh, the garage door's open. Yeah. That's the ginger beer. Is like I'm not a ginger guy. No, you're not a ginger guy? He's not I, like that, I like that ginger beer. But I do like the mint. That, that is a good ginger beer. It is a nice ginger beer, but it's still yeah. spicy. And it goes well with the rumsons, I think. The, the sweetness of the rumsons yeah. goes well with that ginger beer. Thing. You know what, though? What? Still not a big fan of having a chew on mint. I like the mint. Rather, the mint's actually making that better. Strain it. Yeah. Without the mint, I would well, it. it was muddled in there, so what do you want me to do? It, there's nothing well, in there. It's, it's like, it's like a muddled better. Pretend little it's salad. like a pill, just swallow it without mm -hmm. chewing it. Look, the, like these little pieces of mint. It's green, eat it, it's healthy for you. <laughs> it probably, I, it is. You can put it in a spring roll, summer roll, something like that, but no, it's a fine drink. I you know, we could fancy it. that up and strain it into like a coupe or a martini or something. That'd no, be it's a better. Whole other look. And then you wouldn't have to. <laughs> you know, it's better this way because now I feel like I can sit at the pool. If I had a martini, I wouldn't be able to get to the pool because it'd be spilled all over the floor and I'd have right. to drink it first. Right. And I almost, I like that in the tall Collins glass instead of the uh, copper mug. Because you can see the. Because yeah. well, you can see the. Well, if you're doing pool, you'd put a solo cup and see what it's like. Right. And it's yeah. going to be, yeah. Just a solo cup. Uh, I went to <laughs> Vegas and got like a mojito or what was it? Gin and tonic or something. And they served them in these. Large Dunkin' Donuts plastic cups, basically. Because they were outside with the pool. Yeah, it was, yeah, a, it was a, a mojito or gin tonic that was this big. <laughs> it, was, it was ridiculous. Wow. It was amazing. It was That's like 30 bucks. Little... But... Oh, wow. <laughs> it is spicy. It is. Well, the, gin, the Q is pretty spicy if I remember, right? Yeah. I mean, it's it's mojito-like, but it doesn't it doesn't have the um, the water. You know, it doesn't have the spring water or the, the bubbly water like the club yeah. soda. So it's all concentrated right into your mouth hole. <laughs> like it's a hot, burning. Well, I'd rather have a concentrator there than another hole. But you don't get the rum's hidden pretty well. Yeah. Like it's there. Yeah. I got it at first. On the first sip, I got it. Maybe it's the heat buildup. Maybe I took it all. <laughs> well, I mean, there's, there's a lot of ginger on there. Yeah. You sucked up all the rum. We and might, because this is so ginger forward, we might need to amp up a little bit. What do we do? A half ounce of the um, spiced? Put a little more spice on top. Maybe a little more top. spice yeah, on top. Put a little on there. Plus, uh, this, where when is you're it? topping, this one, like a. Uh, Yep. You don't know how big the glass is necessarily. Right. Topping so is the, bad. Yeah, so the this recipe that this is made, it might be made for chop. a specific glass. All right. So with this glass, it's it just a topping goes right down. Yeah, that's a, that's a top sinker. Yeah, this this is a sinker. It's the way I swim. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully that could be dangerous. Magnet <laughs> <laughs> more spice. No, now I got more mints. Oh, really? <laughs> Shot right now. Yeah, yeah, right. Just what you've been trying to avoid. I think I... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> well, these straws are cool, but the mouth opening's like a snorkel. Yeah. And you're probably getting <laughs> that's more. Yeah, that's true. Right. No, because this is stuff. this glass straw is actually made for for a pina colada or a smoothie. Oh, yeah. oh, that'd be good. This is this right. is a so normal you know, yeah. size straw. Yeah. This is probably also about the same normal size. Mm. There's smaller ones that are like super thin. So I overshot. Is what you're saying with this straw? You can almost fit this one in the other one. <laughs> hey, man, like it. No. Oh, no, the straw is fine because it lets me drink it faster. <laughs> that's good and bad. Yeah. Um, I, I, I like a good summer drink. I know um, Stanley, and he's probably in there too, was asking about poolside drinks. There's a poolside drink. Like totally. that's, yeah. You yeah. sit down, you have your... I love ginger in the summertime, but for... I know you don't like ginger, but <laughs> I get into ginger like from summer... Iced tea and ginger, summer and fall yeah. and spring, but once winter, once it gets cold, yeah. I don't want it. I'm not just like, you know what? I can't have that anymore because it's not the right season. I literally do not desire it anymore. Yeah. Huh. 
Yeah, well, if you're not a fan of ginger, I wonder if there's a variation you can do with club soda instead. Yeah, you can get the rum and the mint and everything. Well, you can dial up um, stronger gingers, too. Or you could use cola and just get rid of ginger all the Well, mint and lime, the sour. Yeah, you yeah, love, yeah. Well, you love the uh, yeah. rum and coke. <laughs> You've got you a cool lead, right? <laughs> I do love the sour. The sour, lemonade. I'll drink so, year round. substitute the ginger beer for lemonade. Oh, wouldn't that yeah, just yeah, be what the smash pretty much was a minute ago? Yeah, but served as a cool well, drink. Kind of I like, like lemonade. And to, the yeah, but to serve but any of them, it's it easy. Would be different. Right? To serve any of those as a cool drink, don't you just add more to it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah when I go to a bar that doesn't know what they're doing, I'll ask for lemonade rather than like a good sour. Yeah. Okay. It's easy. Right. It's tasty. So you just say rum and lemonade or whiskey? Rum and rum and lemonade. Nice. That's a good question. So if you go someplace, mm. you go out to drink, friends, whatever, and you get to the bar, you would probably know ahead of time whether they have the product or not. Are you that um, if we're going, yeah. if we're going, we're, they probably had the product from going with friends. Okay, so you're purposely going to a place that <laughs> right. has the product, well, yeah. and then when you're the there, you're ordering the product. Right. Yes, it's, that's freaking it's hilarious. Good. It's you're good paying. paying. It's oh, good yeah. for restaurants for to your own us, stuff because we're using there with friends and other people. Well, if they're going to pay, go out. They might yes. as well promote their own product. Yeah, but well, it's weird. Well, we want to go to places that we want. Right, right. That we got to work at. Hopefully, get the product in. But usually, if if friends are in town, we're going to a place that carries it. See, Plus, that's we, how wanted, we wanted to drink it anyway. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? And it's you can't like, bring it with you because that's just awkward. awkward. It is. Right? Yeah. I'm brought my own out of bars. I've kicked people out of bars for that. Oh, really? Yeah, I guess you know there's a place to work at the uh, strip club with the Blue Moon Lounge. It used yeah. to be here. I used to work there for like eight years and there was a couple guys, kind of rough guys that came in and they were just ordering Cokes and getting wrecked. They brought in a water bottle full of vodka and they just kept pouring. I'm like, you guys gotta go. Like, do that. That's not how this is gonna roll. Because when I was in Austin, I was I went out to uh, after dinner to cocktails with some of the guys from Library Co. They make um, grenadines and, and yeah. pineapple yeah. syrups. Nice syrups. Yeah. And they're just ordering off their menu. They know where their product is, but they're not they're not in everything. I'm just like, oh, this one has pineapple gum syrup. I'll order that. Like I was yeah. ordering it because it had their stuff in it. I yeah. thought it was pretty neat to be able to go there. It is. I felt famous for them. Like yeah. like to, to go into some place well, and your product is there. We've always been talking about yeah. so you know the first and, yeah. satisfying yeah. like the first store and restaurant like our first store and restaurant. You went there every day. Like, well, yeah, we yeah. you'd walk in and look at it on the shelf. Like, like oh, there, let's get a drink. <laughs> Did anybody buy it yet? Oh yeah, uh, uh, it come doesn't back look low. How about yet? How about now? <laughs> now it's it's hard to keep up. So, you but you try to. Draw line on it. You, if you want them to serve it, you got to kind of go there. So yeah, yeah you my wife likes going out. Friends like going out. So represent. Yeah. I like drinking. I don't yeah. care if it's wherever. I just have it at a bar. I like so. going to nice cocktail bars. And I'll, I don't know. I'll and go to the I don't really so go anywhere. If I'm going to go out, I'm going to go out and order something I like. And, yeah. and if I see Rumsons, I'll, I'll order Rumsons if I'm going to rum drink. Yeah, it's my rum. I'm going to order stuff up from people I know. I'm going to pick up right up. Yeah. Then, well, it's a conversation starter, too. If you, if you like, like if I go out and I see Rumsons on the shelf, I'm like, oh, do you, what do you guys think of this? We, we, uh, now I'll be able to say, oh, we had those guys on the show, yeah, great right. guys, great rum. They can talk about, you know, and then stuff they've shared with us. He's going to have huge, the word of mouth, yeah. grassroots yeah. stuff. Exactly. Huge in this stage. Yeah. He's going to have a QR yeah. code yeah. tattooed on his arm. <laughs> just <laughs> scan, scan this. Scan this. Right. Right. That's what you need. Next type of right tattoo. Yeah, yeah. With, you, you can have the rum sense. Everyone's going to have a QR code. Yeah. QR code, yeah. That would for whatever drink you want. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be cool. What's that say? It says mint rum. I'll take one of these. How do I make that? I'll just scan this. Right it pops up with a nice little like mobile ready menu. Like, yeah, we've been thinking of an app. I think this might be our app. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. scannable cool with that. Scan. tattoo. Yeah. Scannable <laughs> tattoo. You have an app. You pull up the Romson's app. You scan your tattoo. Yeah. Perfect. It's got it. It's All right. You can, you can have that one. Investors, yeah. send money now. We're, we're gonna launch Shark Tank. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know if you need Shark Tank. If you just do it. That's true. You yeah. don't need anybody to buy in your. Well, you need someone to develop the app. Fiber. Fiber. Mark, you just email. You hire. You hire like a, a guy. That guy. You just hire a guy. Who was the? What was the show? The library company guys were on. They were on a CNBC show. He need to get on a CNBC show. Yeah. No, we're gonna do that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was like a. You sold it. It was, it was a show. Like we are. The name of the show. Yeah. I am. We're on the. Is it on the schedule? I don't know what it's called. It was, like, it was one of those things where they. It was like uh, businesses in the res restaurant and hospitality industry. They'd have businesses on, and they'd talk about their product to like a, really? a mogul in the business, yeah. Yeah. and he'd either help them or not. I, yeah, I, I, I'd it. like to do the billionaire buyer guy. He's cool. Because you'll actually get like an order out of that. Right. Right. And well, that could like drive states and everything else. So. Great publicity. That yeah. sounds yeah. like ROI. That sounds like a, yeah. <laughs> it's a good one. I got like ROI. We can make drinks all night. Question of the day. Is there a product that when you go to the bar, you're like, that? Yes. That's the brand. That's the product. That's what you rely on. And don't say 
Absolute. Come on, get creative. <laughs> Please don't say it. We're smearing off. I'll smear it off a curve. It's almost like Tito's. Yeah, not oh, Tito's. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually true. Most people, oh, Tito's and tonic. Is that a thing? Tito's and tonic? Chocolate Sounds good. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, Tito's, yeah. tonic's the line. Yeah, small scale. TNT. That's it. Yeah, there you go. TNT. TNT. <laughs> I like it. That's good. Like a B and B. That's a good. You guys gotta create a TNT. You, you need, need an R and R. An R and R is that's good. easy. And that's right yeah. up the, the whole theme. R and R rum relaxing. Yes. Yeah. And what's the R? Going. What's the second? We gotta R? figure that out. Raspberry rhubarb. Rhubarb. That's a New England thing. Like strawberry. You got some rhubarb bitters. Yeah. Yeah. Rhubarb yeah. doesn't yeah. necessarily yeah. stand on its own. It's like raspberry. A strawberry. Yeah. <laughs> I think raspberry. Strawberry. Like raspberry yeah, but you can do a a B and B or what I say. Yeah, an R and R. It could have strawberries. That's besides the point. As long as it has the R. Make a rum and rum. Like a rum rum. It could just be R and R. Rum and relaxation. It could be some other thing. Rum relaxation. It can have. Any of those rhubarb. Yeah, but that would be any other. Now we're gonna have people walking into the bar going, "I'll have an R R." <laughs> oh, <laughs> perfect! <laughs> then you can print t-shirts. You're good. So you, you got a pirate theme. It says R. It's a detector for bartenders to know who's lost. QR code on their face. Everybody wins. It's an R and R. If you make a big enough QR code, you can put the Rumson's dog right in the middle without causing the scandal. And then you go R. If it gets you, you know what? When you scan it, all it does is make your phone go, ah. <laughs> they have beer drinking apps. Come on, there's no beer Absolutely. in it. They can do it, ah. That'd be cool. I like it. R and R. And it's cheap that. app. You could probably get that done in India for like 300 bucks. Probably, yeah. I could probably record the R. <laughs> the computer, ah. This is a website, yeah. I'm just going to get it off the sound. Download right your here. free video. <laughs> Thank you. All right, that's it. We're done. Thanks all for sticking around. We're teaching you a drink. <laughs> knee, knee, knee. Put that over there, that and then get a shot of that's that. That's actually beautiful. Damn looking, looking, Where does that go? damn looking, damn good looking cocktail. Oh, yeah. very, very nice. I like the snowball. That's a good idea. I can't. Uh, right there. Keep I can't. Going. Did wait. you move the camera? That right. That's right there.